Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of things. So um, I just gonna hope you guys buckle up and enjoy this ride. I'm gonna be doing a pearl pour and a dutch pour and then texture over top of it. And then I change the color of the texture. So it's gonna be a lot, but um, I really do hope that you enjoy this video. It's kind of basically a how to pivot when you're not happy video. So those four on the left there are my base coats. Uh, the This color here is the Modern Masters Champagne Gold, or just Champagne. And then this is the Modern Masters Pearl White, and it is mixed with just Floetrol and GAC 800. And you can see that the consistency on all of these is very thin. And so this right here is a Payne's Gray. Uh, it's a Triart Payne's Gray, the, the fluid or the liquid. And then I just mixed it with my Satin Enamel recipe, which is in the description box below. That color was the Manganese Blue by Triart Liquids. And this color here is a kind of a white mixed with that Payne's Gray, just a little bit of that Payne's Gray, just a couple drops just to give it a little bit lighter color. Um, and then that is a sky blue mix I made up. It's basically a just the sky blue with some white added to it just to um, lighten it up a bit. Now, the way I layer these, um, I kind of always overlap the colors and then when I tilt this out the colors actually roll over top of one another which help to create peacock pearls which you don't know what peacock pearls are it's basically a color within a color within a color or a color within a color of a pearl um, I have some videos uh, I will try and create a playlist of just the peacock pearls because they are pretty cool to make. Um, you'll see it in the dry results at the very end. What I mean, I will be teaching this at the Fluid Art Experience in Asheville, North Carolina. It's the 23rd through the 25th of May. Um, I My class, my Peacock Pearl class, which is just a straight Peacock Pearl class, uh, is almost sold out um, but if you are looking to make these type of pearls and you're attending or you want to attend I will be covering this type of pour the peacock pearls in my Friday afternoon class it's a pearl and it's a pearl combo class so you can do Dutch pour or or a um, swipe or whatever over top of it but I will be showing how to make these peacock pearls in that class as well so if you were worried that maybe you were missing out on that um, you can definitely check out that class it's a Friday afternoon class so um, yeah that is basically what I've done here is I have added my pour over colors of the pearl white and the gold and these do not have satin enamel in them they and you cannot have satin enamel again in your pour over colors you won't get pearls if you do so i'm basically stretching these colors to a very thin um uh coat over top and you can see these are basically extreme tilts so I tilt one way, I tilt another way. I do all four ways and then I always, whatever end I tilt first, I always tilt last because you need to bring your paint back to center what's left on there. Otherwise you won't get pearls on that side. So you can see that all the way around the edges it's stretched pretty thin. I do have more paint in the center, but that's fine. I'm still gonna get pearls in there, but um, you will see in the end results that there's much more pearls around the edges because I did stretch it the way that I did. Now this is a time lapse. I let it sit for about 30 minutes 
and um, now I am going to do a Dutch pour on this and I, it's funny because I literally looked at this the whole half hour that I was waiting I just kept staring at it from all different sides to see where I wanted to put the Dutch pour thing is I really liked so many parts of this that I didn't want to cover it with the Dutch pour so I finally decided on this part here because I felt like some of that gold needed to be broken up. There was kind of a natural break in the pearl white up there. So I thought, okay, let's give this a try. Now, number one, when I turned on my little blow dryer, it was on high. I thought it was on low and it kind of sprayed the paint and it thinned it out a little bit more than I wanted to. So that upper area was thinned out more the bottom area wasn't as much but it, it was kind of disappearing more than i wanted now of course hindsight is always 2020 when i look at this now it didn't I, I thought it was okay but at the time it was just bothering me so i was like okay i need to make that dutch pour part a little bit bigger so i went ahead and added some more paint and blew that out thinking okay um, maybe this will make it better I didn't feel that way <laughs> so I said okay let's make it a little bit bigger so I added more paint and was I don't know I was I was just trying to course correct and you know, of course, like I said, hindsight is twenty twenty, And on this blowout, I wish I would have just kept it just like that and not blown the edges out like I just did and blown here and widened those petal areas out because that, the more I work this, the more I do not like it and the more upset I was getting with the way it looked so I, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. I stared at it for a really long time. And these are time lapses that you were seeing. So I let it dry and I came back down the next day and I wasn't happy with it. So I decided to add some texture. Now that is extra heavy semi gloss gel that I'm using and I'm mixing it with this pearl white from Modern Masters which is the color that I use as a pour over color. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up a bunch of this. I wanted to show you how I mix this. It's kind of a thinner paint. So you wanna be really careful how much of this you add to your gel because it will make it runny. And that's why I opted for the extra heavy uh, gel because it will hold the structure better when you're adding a thinner paint to it. So here I mix, 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 and it took a while because it gets kind of chunky before it gets all like interspersed together or, or mixed up together. And I use these uh, paper palettes um, that come in like a little book. You can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Amazon. Um, and they're kind of a coated paper that allow you to mix right on them and then you can toss them afterwards. But I really like them for doing these type of projects and you can see i save all of my little containers that i get and i reuse them so here i go i am going to start adding the texture over top of the dutch pour portion and if you look close you can see that i had kind of drawn some lines of where i wanted to you know add the texture now my camera went out um, because this is a little bit time consuming so my camera died and uh, so here is what it looks like when I was done well now I wasn't really happy with that so I added another section to kind of have a pearl reveal underneath and then I wasn't really happy with that color the pearl color so then I decided to paint over with that champagne gold which I really like that so now you can see those pearls are multicolored that's a, what I'm talking about in a peacock pearl uh, when you have like a color within a color within a color 
They really turn out so, so cool. This one actually turned out really good and I was so excited about it because I just was struggling with it for so long. But yeah, I'm happy that um, it turned out the way that it did. You guys will have to let me know what you think because I did leave kind of some of that uh, pearl behind to give it a bit of a reveal of the painting underneath but really kept with that texture. And then I am gonna show you the edges, how I did finish those edges as well, because it is a deep edge canvas. So I wanted it to look pretty all the way around. So that's how I finished the edges as well. So um, you guys will have to let me know what you think of this one. Please let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.